Yo, bro. So today's question comes from Aaron8202. He wants to know, yo, Elliot, what activity immediately calms you after a long day and how has it impacted your life and those around you? So the very first thing I'd have you know is that old Uncle Yo is not an endurance athlete. I'm a sprinter, bro. And as a result, I don't do long days. I don't do long anything. I explode and then go. And so that's how my day rolls. I wake up 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning. I go to bed about 9, 9.30 at night. So it's an extended period of time that I'm awake. But throughout that day, I'm taking frequent breaks. Rather than when I was younger, uh, I would get up and I'd go hard from the time I got up until the time I went to bed or by the time I got home, but I would collapse. And in order to sort of calm myself when I was in that collapse state because I worked so hard, I would go to substances. I would drink vodka and then I started smoking weed. So these were things that are vices, but ultimately it was a result of my unresourceful way of going about my day by trying to sprint. It's almost like when I was younger, uh, I was always a good sprinter. I'd run the 40 yard dash. I ran my 40, my football 40. You know when football players run the 40 yard, 40 yard dash, 40 meter dash, 40 yard dash, something like that. Run the 40, I ran mine in 4.34 seconds. That was my fastest. I'm a fast dude, right out the gate. That's why I'm good at strength sports. But when we had to run like a mile or we had to run like a round of like a 400 around the lap, uh, around the track, I, I, I could never make it. I, I would run as hard as I can because it's my nature to go hard. But about halfway through, I might really slow down to like almost a crawl. And by the time I get to the end, I would just fall. I just, it just I'm just not built that way. I'm not physically built that way. I'm not mentally built that way. I think it has something to do with the nervous system. Totally different video for another time, but there are different nervous system types, right? Eric Braverman does a book on this. It's pretty interesting. But for me, I've discovered that I have to do short stints of intense work with frequent breaks, or what I like to call intermittent chilling. And so when I get up in the day, the first thing I do is I kneel and I pray. After I pray, I go about my day working out in the gym, yo. So I do a workout in the gym, I take a shower, I chill out and I eat my breakfast. Then if I have meetings or I gotta get behind the desk, I'll work from about 10 to about 12. I can't do more than two hours. Three hours is pushing it. 12 o'clock, I get outside, I walk my dogs around the lake. I have a lake in my backyard. It's about a half mile. And so I get out there, I walk my dogs, I get some sunshine, I breathe some fresh air. I might you know, do some stretches, just kind of chill out, be outside for a little bit, half an hour max get back inside, and then I'm working again. And then about two o'clock, I'll get back outside, I'll walk my dogs around another lap. I might do that three, four times a day. So I'm, I'm, tr I'm inside, working, sprinting, going hard, and then collapsing, relaxing, chilling in the sunshine, in the yard with my dogs. And so that sort of intermittent working, weaving it in, weaving the chilling in throughout the day, makes it so I don't actually have a long day. I just have many sprints throughout the day. So by the time the day is done, I'm not completely drained. And it doesn't require that I collapse on the floor, meaning go get hammered or use some substance or have to take an Ambien to go to sleep like some dudes do. That's not me. So having a long day of intermittent work and chilling brings me to the end of the day, and by the time I get to my last chilling break, it's shower and bedtime for me. So that's it, dude. No long days for old Uncle E, bro. I'm a sprinter with intermittent chilling, dude. Done. Porn. 68% of church-going men watch it secretly, hiding this vice from their wife. For other men, it's alcohol or drug use. Are you willing to risk your marriage, family, and finances for sinful pleasures and vice? Or are you ready to fight back? If you're a married Christian businessman or entrepreneur, caught in the clutches of drinking, drugs, or jerking off, realize that every moment spent in these vices is literally destroying your life. Is this the man God called you to be, to live like this? If you're ready to go to war against vice and take your life back, here's my advice. Click the link in this video or visit waronvice.com to book a call with me to see we're a good fit for going into battle together. I'll see you on the inside.